Uh, Dex, yes. now it's time to mm, 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 talk about the race. What's that gesture? What's, <laughs> the, what's that gesture, bro? <laughs> hey, started okay. the key to the car. So you don't drive. You don't, you, she don't drive. She ain't got no car. She ain't got no car, man. I didn't learn until I was 35. <laughs> <laughs> what even is that? What even is that? <laughs> okay. Choo choo. All right. <laughs> even, the sounds, even the sounds are wrong, girl. <laughs> You got me. I've never learned to drive. <laughs> uh, so, now, you auditioned five times for Drag Race. I, I made six tapes. Wow. But it's an N5 because one was just a big old mess. <laughs> one, was, one was just like, what am I even doing with my life right now? No. Erase, delete. I did have Violet kind of coaching me on it. Oh. And that, like, I mean, like, I wasn't going to apply my season. The season I got on, I wasn't going to apply at all. Violet called me from Paris or whatever she was doing somewhere. I don't know. She lived her life. It's fine. Um, she called me and she was like, hey, girl, they're asking me about you. And I was like, what? She was like, yeah, they want you to apply again. And I was like, but you just won, so I kind of feel like I'm done here. Or like, mm. we're good. We finished. And she, but she like really urged me to do it. And she was like, here's some things you need to have. Like, you got to have a gown. At, well, more than one gown, ideally. But you got to at least have a gown. You've got to have like... Like tight performances, you've got to like you've got to like follow the, like the guidelines they give you in the applications, but then like do more than that. Like you can't just like follow it like step one, step two, step three. You've got to like really push it, you know. Yeah. Now you knew you wanted to enter the workroom looking as close to Storm as copyright laws would allow, right? What I told the legal team on my entrance was, I am not cosplaying. Don't look into it. Don't look into 86 Storm and Mark Silvestri. Don't look into it. Don't Google it. And they believed me. All right. <laughs> so I let them. <laughs> That's I good. let them. I let them, yeah. Because that was a, I can only imagine, might have been an issue when you showed up wearing all, with all of your looks, okay, but the, thinking the, you might be able to use them, and then they said, you no. are not allowed yeah. to. But, but, but I mean, like, with cosplay, it's, it's, it's always been a weird little gray area in that, like, cosplay is tantamount to, like, fan art. So if somebody wanted to sue you, they probably could. But most like companies that like create using you know, this like you know media, they just don't because it's literally fan art. Like I mean, there's plenty of artists out there who like will draw a picture of somebody, a character they don't even own, sell shirts at cons or whatever, and they make plenty of money off it, and people just let, let them, leave them alone. Right. But like I mean, with drag and with cosplay, it's just always been like a weird, a weird gray area. And I mean like I mean to their credit, like like the show producers just didn't want to even chance it. So I get it. Yeah, because once like, Viacom is in the mix, it's a different story. It is. But, I mean, like, but it, it's just, like, I get how they, they wouldn't know what to do with it because they don't know where they really stand because no one knows where I really stand on it. Right. Like, no one really knows um, where it's just how to get away with it. But people still do it. Now, in your season, that was the season where all the winners were there for the photo shoot. Yeah. And you had to go into the center. Now, we didn't see it on TV, but when you came out and saw Violet, you guys had, a, like, a reunion on the set. Okay, who is your source on that? Because I really feel like I'm being mold right now. Is that okay for <laughs> word? Where's, I mean, I don't know. Either way, um, but yes. Um, I hadn't seen her. I didn't know she was going to be there. I, I hadn't seen her in a while. And, um, I mean, I know we only had, like, you know, like, eight photos to take or whatever, but I still wanted to get one with Violet. So I, like, ran around and I was like, meep. And they were like, no, you should pose more. Matthew Anderson. No, you should pose more. And I was like, I'm already doing it. I'm doing the job. <laughs> just take a picture. <laughs> and he was just like, <laughs> he didn't know what I was doing. I was like, it's fine. I just want to say hi to my friend. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, darling, please get back to the place where you belong. Like, Is this what you want? It's not really art, but it's fine. <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> of course. <laughs> You were part of that double oh. elimination, the second one to ever occur on Drag Race. Oh. Um, now, tell me about that whole situation, how it was living through that moment. Because um, that was the, the, the infamous I will survive moment, right? Yes, it was. Um, well, first of all, I don't do disco. Yeah. I'm sorry about it. I just don't. Um, um, but I mean, like, I love, I mean, like, who doesn't love that song? Like, who doesn't love I will survive? Like, it's like when they even like, gave us the song, it's like, I fucking know this song. It's fine. But no, I mean, it, it was hard because they don't tell you how slippery the runway is, first of all. Oh. It's fucking slippery. Like, it's high gloss sheen on that. Um, so that was difficult. Um, it had been a long, a long filming time anyway because, you know, we had, like, the dance challenge originally. I had to stop, reset, redo your whole face, mm. change your clothes, get back out for the runway. Like, so, like, and the dress I was going to wear, the zipper popped on me when I was trying to get into it. Oy. And so I was like, pull the back up. Let's got, we got to go. Because, you know, there's no clocks in the workroom. They're just like, some guy just runs in and goes like, two minutes! And you're like, 
You said I had time. And then have to just, like, go out and, like, serve her on my look. Um, and then being told that... And then being body adi adi shamed on national television. Right. For the old lumpy pads. body oh. adi adi shamed. Uh. I was like, really, bitch? Uh. Like... I am covered in ruching right now. How do you even see? Oh, there it is. Like, I was <laughs> seriously like, this is what we're going to go to? Um, so it was just really hard because it's like, I mean, like, let's be real. I know where I stand. I, I mean, I had no, I knew I wasn't prob- I probably wasn't going to win. I wanted to at least, like, get far and then reevaluate. Sure. My, my plan going in was, like, let me get to episode five. And see how this is looking, reevaluate, and then uh, choose goals accordingly. Because I don't want to, you know, I'm like, I'm like, let's not be crazy. Low-hanging fruit. Let's do it. Yeah. But like, I, I wasn't trying to, like, I mean, like, so, so then, like, like, you know, then when it happens and, and they're asking you, like, like, well, how do you feel about it? It's like, well, I'm obviously heartbroken. I mean, how do I explain that in words that's also relatable besides just rage. <laughs> like, it was a really rough moment. Yeah. It, was, it was a really rough moment. You were a drag moment. veteran coming in. Your daughter just won. Yeah. yeah. Suddenly you're you're doing I Will Survive. You think that would be an, a natural. And, and then they eliminate both of and, you. And, like, and like I mean, like, you know, like, like, even though like, when we talked about it when it happened, I was even like, I was like, look, I'd rather them take one of us than neither of us. Yeah. Because it's just like, it was just... And honestly, it just felt rude. Like it just like it just felt rude, and it hurt my feelings. And I just didn't know what to do. And I mean, I'm technically only I'm technically like the first one off the show because when they, when they said it, I was like, "Fuck it, I'm out." And I just like hit it and ran because I was like, "You know what? I'm not gonna argue with this. I'm not gonna fight with this because it's not my gig, not my circus, not my monkeys. Like I can't, I can't. Like I, there's nothing I can do about it." So I was like, "Bye." You know, but I'm the kind of girl like like when when it's time to go, it's time to go, girl. Like you know, I'm just that bitch. And and, and like it just, but it really did. It was a really hurtful moment. Yeah. Like, now, do you regret was, not turning around and saying some line that you could have put nope, on a t-shirt? I do not. I do not. I do not because I feel like I get the look that I gave was enough. Yes. Because like, people like, people told me that like like, like, like when that ha- first happened, like friends of mine. Like they they've like you know reposted like like video clips everywhere and they're like and you can count down to when Dax's heart breaks and it's like no oh. you ain't wrong bitch you ain't wrong like I worked so long and so hard to get to that point and then like Layla had time to like change and redirect and like take critique and go back and do it again right Nasha came back mm-hmm. but I get one moment and they're like mm, bye queen I was like, okay. All right. Yeah, cute. Cute, 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 cute. It was rough. I wouldn't recommend. Highly wouldn't recommend. It was a terrible feeling. So how did you get out of that angry place? Because you're not only you get eliminated, you probably feeling dumb. You have to deal with all of the drag race fans yeah. coming for you. How do you get out of that and then rediscover what you still like about drag? Well, I will say honestly, with regard to the fans, the fans have always been super cool. The fans have always been um, understanding and supportive. I mean, like, and if they're not, they haven't said anything at all, which is great. Like, you Good. know, which is great. I will have to take it. Um, the fans are never the problem, but it's like, I mean, I will say for myself, I definitely left, um, got on the plane, was too embarrassed to call anyone at home mm. to let them know I was coming back, called my ex, who I'd broken up with before I went to the show anyway, uh-huh. moved back in with him. Got back together Ooh. for a year. Oh. That shit went wrong. Oh no! <laughs> because when you're depressed and you're with your ex, bitch, choices, <laughs> yeah. choices. Yeah. yeah, did not work. Would not recommend. Don't do that. Um, yeah. So that was me living up to it. Uh, got a job. Got a job at Whole Foods because as someone who did not get paid the entire nine weeks of my filming, Mama had to make rent. So. Ugh. No. So you're highly like, wouldn't checking recommend. people out at Whole Foods. They're okay. Like, oh. Okay. No. 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 I was. I, no, okay. I, as someone who was, I was, a, I worked in whole body. Oh. I stocked and sorted vitamins, healthcare, beauty <laughs> items, syrups, and whatnot. Um, so it was fine until the reveal happened. Oof. There was one queen who worked at Whole Foods who was a drag race obsessed person. I didn't even know him. He worked in like in like the kitchen or something somewhere across the store. Didn't even know him. But as soon as that shit came out online, shit made a bitch made a beeline for me. It was like, hey girl. <laughs> I was like, what? What's going on? Bitch, I, when it dropped, I was at work. Uh, I didn't even know. I didn't even uh, know. He was like, she's like, hey, girl. And I was like, hi, strange homosexual. What's going on? And she was like, heard you on drugs. I was like, who told you? I saw the contract. Who told you? And she was like, 
no, your reveal wasn't. I was like, my what? <laughs> like, my what happened today? It I was then, talking about five. I, like, I missed it. Yeah, literally, <laughs> literally, and like, and like, and then, and then, like, it was fine until people started recognizing me. At the store. Well, I'm, like, I'm like on all fours, stocking fucking horse vitamins or whatever. <laughs> and people are just like, come by. They're like, they're like, like, saying nothing. Just like, <laughs> like the whole time. And I'm like, I look up and be like, who is you? And be like, are you Doc's exclamation like, part? <laughs> and I'm like, maybe. Why? And they're like, can we let selfie with you? And I was like, bitch, I've been here since 8 in the morning. Oh. I am not in selfie form right now. <laughs> so, yes. Long story short, Mama quit her job because she had to for sanity. Like, right. Like it was. I mean, like it was. It was weird. Highly weird. Um, but I mean, like it has to be done because there's no shame in chasing a paycheck. There was no shame in getting paid, getting your shit no. done. There was no shame in that. Highly recommend doing that. Um, but like it was. It just got really awkward because I, I was just trying to like. I knew that like our tours weren't going to start for like another couple months, and like. I had to like gotta live. make gotta money to, and pay yeah, bills pay and feed my cat and like you know all that. But it's like like being hounded every day like at work by like people who were like have all these like hopes and aspirations for you. Oh, <laughs> was super weird, <laughs> super weird. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Uh huh. So then you get into the machine. The show comes out, yeah. and you guys did a little tour together, didn't we you? Did. We did. We did. We did a whole, a whole like premiere tour. Right. That um, was that year. Yeah, that was yeah, a yeah. good one. Yeah. It, no, it was fun. It was super fun. Loved it. Uh, we did a whole premiere tour. We did, um, you know, a bunch of stuff. Now you did leave the group chat. Everyone wants to know why Who did you leave that? the How group you... chat? Who even told you that? Like Layla really? McQueen. <sighs> <laughs> um, no, okay, first of all, as someone who signed a contract for the first time in their fucking life, <laughs> and they say no one can know. You can have no kind of other girls from the show. Mm. You can't be seen together. Cause like I even like I even like even like after this show, I got booked for a gig in Chicago, and and, and like had like lunch with kimchi, and like we, and then we went, we did like, did a party together. Well, we went to party together. Um, someone tried to take a picture of us together before the show was announced or whatever. Kim she fucking like Matrix dodge that she was like nope <laughs> like, it's like not having I was like yeah you're right because legal reasons I get it and so then when I get like a random invite from a bunch of like dudes I don't fucking know I'm like I don't trust this I don't know who you are am I being botted or spammed what's the internet I don't even know how it works so yeah no I, I so I, I left the group chat for our season because Bob apparently began it being you know Bob um and and I left it because I didn't know these people's names. I like I'm like girl. I met you once. I don't know your real name. Like we we spent a week together. Right. That could be any train on the street. Like let's be real. Um. And so I left it. And then like I didn't know about it until we went on tour together. And then Bob was like, "So why'd you leave the group chat?" And I was like, "What are you talking about? What are you saying about?" It? He was like, "The group chat for for our drag race season." I was like, "There was a what for the what now? <laughs> like what if we, no? Had I been told in advance or had it been like an announcement like?" This is a group chat. Right. I might have stayed, but it was just like I just like logged into Facebook, and then like, there's like a group chat that I'm added to for some reason, and just like things like popping off, and I'm like, who are these men? I don't know anyone here. <laughs> like, what what even is this? And also, will I be sued for this? I don't know what's mm. happening. Um, so it was just that, um, and then but then apparently according to Facebook, once you leave a group chat, you can't be re-added to it. Didn't know that till then. Well, we finally, Lady Red, are you relieved? We finally cleared up the most pressing matter in the Honestly, world. Honestly, I feel Why very did Dad leave the group chat? <laughs> I, I, feel very so, I was just so concerned. I said, you know, she don't like nobody. <laughs> Honestly, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> oh, I know that. No. <laughs> <laughs> but I like you, the bitch. <laughs> now, we're going to take a little break, but after that... Cena Grace, the creator of Shade, will be joining oh. us yes! on the couch. Yes! Hello, children. To see part three of this interview, click here. To see more Hey Queen fabulousness, click here. And don't forget to subscribe, bitch! <laughs> Hey! 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 <laughs>